Who would have thought that we'll be in a time where time seems to move so slow and space seems to be restricted? The whole purpose of the devil is to put you in fear. We are more aware of the virus because we see it, we read it, we see it in the news, we, we read it, we hear it, we say it. What's going to happen to the end, at the end of this crisis? Do we see the light at the end of this tunnel? Are you believing the worst is yet to come? And the devil says, well, times are bad. Or you're unemployed. Are you able to get a job? Especially during this season that the world is in. When you, when you realize that you are full of worry or you're full of care and all that, stop in Jesus' name. Cease. Be still. Before Jesus makes His appearance, the world will get darker and darker, but the glory of the Lord will rise upon you and it will be seen on you. You switch off all the light here and just a trickle of light, just a flicker of light, you will see it from, from afar. Our light is never more seen, never more visible than when in the midst of darkness. So let us shine with the love of Jesus for the people during this time. Let us demonstrate that we are different. We know that we are at the end. We know that Christ is coming back anytime soon because before the day of vengeance, before the seven years of tribulation, there is a, there's coming the catching away first. Amen? Jesus says, in my Father's house are many mansions. I go to what? Prepare a place for you. Now watch this. And when I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Not the entire world. Receive His church, His bride, His body, those of who are His. And that's why I'm teaching this because I, I, I want you to pray without reservation. I want you to pray in faith. I want you to be able to give an answer to anyone who asks you for the hope that they see in you. Why, why do you have such hope? Why do you know that this is yours? And that's what the world needs, my friend. They need to see a God who is good to His people, a God who provides for His people, a God who watches over His people, and most of all, a God who loves His people. When they see that, they are drawn to this God. The Scriptures plainly tells us, clearly, God is not willing that any should perish, any, but that God is waiting Amen. He's long-suffering. He's patient, the Bible tells us. Amen. He believes that His goodness, the more we, we preach His goodness, we, the more we preach that God loves you. Amen. And, and then the more you preach and share that and you witness that to your colleagues, to your friends, to your family members. Amen. The more you share with them, hey, we get them to tune in. Amen. Every time on Sunday, invite a friend. Amen. Get into the evangelistic spirit. Amen. Praise God. That's one of the most thrilling things you can do. The Lord loves it. He gave us, uh, gave us a commission, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And what better way than uh, the Lord of time and space right now, transcending time, transcending space, reaching out to more people. And our broadcast is reaching out to a lot of people. Why don't you invite a friend this coming Sunday? Amen. Tell them to tune in. Make it easy for them. Invite people that maybe you're not close with, but you know, it, it's your, your, your hairstylist or or someone that you, you go for manicure with. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, people like this, invite them, amen, to tune in. Their lives will never be the same. Amen. Because you cared for them, to invite them. Praise the Lord. Amen.